Hi, my name is Greg Evans. I'm a practicing pediatric dentist in Fort Collins, Colorado. The question you ask is a good one and one I answer frequently. Surprisingly, many dental professionals and most of the medical profession do not know the answer to this question and there is a lot of false information out there. Here are the facts. The best time to take your child to the dentist is right around their first birthday and definitely within six months of that first tooth coming into the mouth or erupting. Wow, is that early? Well, early is the whole point. Early equals prevention. Think back to taking your child to the pediatrician. Most children in America visit their pediatrician or family doctor seven times by the age of two. And they do that for two reasons. First of all, the doctor is going to check your child for developmental milestones and hopefully they're hitting those correctly. The second thing they're going to do is they're going to anticipate and guide you along about what you should be doing as a parent. That's called anticipatory guidance. And the old joke is children don't come home from the hospital with operation manuals. We are learning from our professionals how to take care of our children as they go. And it is no different for oral health. If you think about it, we do not know as parents, especially as new parents, what to do with our kid's mouth. When should we brush? How should we uh, deal with harmful habits? When should we start using fluoride? How should we mix formula? There are a myriad of questions and the sad fact is that our medical colleagues do not have any idea. Medical students get about four hours of lecture on the teeth and the mouth and they get virtually no lecture on infant dental care. A trained pediatric dentist is what you need to help you through these early years. And the early years are important. About 25% of the kids, at least in Colorado, have cavities by the age of three or four. And in my practice, I see way too many children that start their dental experience in my office with a toothache. That is what you're trying to avoid. We want to start early and begin to develop habits so we don't have to deal with that later. Cavities are a bacterial infection in the mouth. And as such, the bacteria comes into our mouth as we age. It's about the time where children first start getting their, their first baby teeth in that the bacteria can come into the mouth and stay in the mouth. Where do they get the bacteria? They get it primarily from their parents and their siblings and then oftentimes to a lesser extent when they get older at their daycare. We have to prepare ourselves to deal with the bacteria that comes into our mouth. 99% of the bacteria in our mouth is cavity resistant, but it's the 1% that can really go to town, produce acid, and break down teeth at a very early age. That's what we're trying to prevent by doing brushing habits, by knowing when to start fluoride, and knowing how a child is going to react to their brushing. So ask around. Find a competent dentist in your area that will see infants. In my office, we set aside about a 20-minute appointment for an assistant to sit down with you and your child give you information in a booklet form, and then I'll come over, look at your child, do a little anatomy tour and an exam to make sure that everything looks as it should, and then we talk about your health history and brushing habits. That simple procedure, which is complimentary in my office, sets children up for success. And then when they come back for official cleanings at about age three, once they have language control and all the baby teeth in, they're set up for success and we start a lifetime of happy dental visits and the kids don't mind coming to the dentist. Hey, for more details on this or, or to find out answers of other questions you may have, go to my website at www.biggrinswithdrgreg.com or just email me. I love what I do and I want to help you raise healthy, happy children. Thanks for tuning in.